And so I propose to share with you some of the things I know and love about jazz. Now let's take that blues we were listening to and find out what it's made of. Now what are the elements that make that jazz? Well, first of all, there is the element of melody. Western music is in general based melodically on scales, the major scale, the minor scale, and others we won't go into. But there's a special scale for jazz, which is a variation of the regular major scale you all practiced as kids. Now in jazz, this scale gets modified in three ways. First of all, the third note gets lowered or flatted and becomes this note. Now the same thing happens to the fifth note, which gets flatted in the same way. And the same thing again happens to the seventh note. So these three notes have now become these three notes. And they are referred to in the trade as blue notes. Now, if we had a fragment of music that was written in the regular notes of the major scale that went, for example, like this, and we applied to this the blue notes of the jazz scale, we would get, which would begin to have a kind of jazzy quality. But this is an important point. The so-called jazz scale is used only melodically, that is in the tune. In the harmony underneath, we still use our old unflatted notes against the flatted note in the tune. So that causes a dissonance to happen between the E flat in the tune and the E natural in the harmony. It's an unpleasant sound. But this dissonance actually has a remarkable jazz quality. Jazz pianists are always using this dissonance. I'm sure it sounds familiar to you. And there's a reason for it. It's because they are looking for a note that isn't actually there, but which lies somewhere between the two. This is called a quarter tone. The quarter tone comes to us from Africa, which is, after all, the cradle of jazz, and where quarter tones are everyday stuff. We can produce one with the voice or with a wind instrument or with a stringed instrument, but on the piano, we have to approximate it by playing those two dissonant notes together. We are playing the two notes that lie on either side of the quarter tone. The real note is somewhere in there in that crack. Now let's see if I can sing you a quarter tone, if you will pardon my horrifying voice. Uh, here is a little African tune I once heard in Tunis, and the last note of it is going to be a quarter tone. It goes, Na da 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 la da di da da and da da di da la da 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 da. You hear that awful note, which lies in between two notes which would be in tune. It sounds as though I'm singing a terribly out of tune note, and maybe I am. But anyway, I am singing a note that is a real note in another musical language. In jazz, it is right at home. La -da 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 -da. Now, just to show you how important these blue notes are to jazz, let's hear that same blues we heard before without them, using only the plain white notes of the major scale. <laughs> something missing, isn't there? It just isn't jazz. 